Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back, Lucha FM, with a, a second episode of the Second City Wrestling Creator Promotion, Local to Global, on TW9. Um, first of all, just want to say thank you to the great support the first episode got. I really appreciate it. I was absolutely shocked and amazed how many people gave it a view, even if you just watched it for five minutes. I appreciate you giving it a go. Um, hopefully, some of you will stick for the stick with it to watch the series unfold i'm hoping to really stick with this one there's not going to be any more tw games coming out for quite a few years probably unless adam decides to randomly release another one again like he did before um so i'm hoping to see this one through to the end really the end goal is to have cm punk in a role here at the company even if it's a backstage role as a road agent um or a color commentator colt cabana um, I want here and Sky Blue as well. So I really want to try and bring the Chicago, the, the well-known Chicago wrestlers to this uh, CCW. So, sorry, SCW. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully we can make that happen. And uh, we'll just quickly go through the first show. Now, um, what I meant to do last show was basically book the show offline and then show you it but I completely forgot because I'm just forced of having it during the way I've done it. So I'm going to try and remember to do that for this episode. But yeah, this is what the first show did. We got 36 rating. We had 100 people uh, attend the sellout because we only picked 100 seat attendance. We are we have got free tickets, but somebody told me... Um, actually, I'm going to do that before I forget. But somebody told me to actually... It doesn't really make much difference and you financially you are better off having the tickets um as very low instead of very cheap sorry i'm just trying to find ticket there we go ticket prices so we change it to very cheap very cheap very cheap so we'll bring in a little bit of money because that will help us financially um and then right so that's that so let's go back to the show history again yeah so this was our first show so we had jimmy young attack lee johnson lee johnson Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. Right, we'll start from the beginning. I do apologise. I'm, I'm a bit rusty since last week. Um, so we started the show with Ray Lynn defeating Mickey Knuckles. Uh, Gringo Loco, Loco defeated Atris, uh, Atreus Koga. That was the best match of the night. And then the main event was Lee Johnson defeating Jimmy Yang. And then Jimmy Yang attacked Lee Johnson after the, the match. So we'll probably progress with that. In fact, I might have that as a storyline, I think. Um... I wish things were easier to find on here. I know everybody's probably looking at me going, why can't you find anything? But uh, where is story? There we go. Right. So we'll put Lee Johnson versus Jimmy Wang. Right. And then Lee Johnson, Jimmy Yang. There we go. So that's one storyline. Um and we have got some updates. So basically, I decided to literally give everybody on the roster a manager. So if I just show you quickly who our managers are. Um, so we go, let's reset this first. And then perception. No, not perception. No, role. There we go. Right, manager. So we've got three managers. A Steel, Ray Lynn, and Vita Von Starr. A Steel and Vita Von Starr are heels. And then Ray Lynn is a babyface. And we've got two stables now. So we've got the Darkest Day stable, which is Vita Von Starr. She is the leader. And then we've got Nate Webber as a deputy. And we've got Ace Perry, Atris, uh, Atreus Koga, Cornelius Crummels, um, Joshua Bishop, Reed Bentley, Lord Crow, Crew, sorry, Mad Dog Connolly, and Tootie Lynn. And then we've got the Iron Lords, which is a Steel's promotion um, group, sorry, stable. He's the leader. We've got Jay Bradley as the deputy, Bradley Prescott as a, uh, as a member, Bastard Cassidy as a member as well, Clayton Gaines, JT Dunn, Malcolm Monroe the third, and Heather Reckless. So that's that. I have, I think I've added a couple of tag teams. So I've got a tag team called The Killers, which is Mad Dog Conley and Lord Crew. I mean, they just look like big, scary buggers. They've got no experience together, but hopefully they will work well for us. Um, let's just quickly check 
we got any champions yet? No, so we haven't got any champions yet, but we have got titles available. So I think this show we might end up just having three matches, each one for the title. Um, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah. So I'll be back in a sec. Right, sorry about that. I had to um, stop recording. My my um, my dog needs to go out out the back where I'm recording. So um, we're just gonna do this, go through this, and then what I'm gonna do is pause the recording. I'm going to book the show, and then when you come back, you'll see all the show lined up, ready to go. So you don't have to watch me book the show live, basically, because I know that might put off people. So right. Um, what we need to do here is we need to go a little bit higher this time because last time we sold out. So if we try a hundred and fifteen, if we go maximum of uh two hundred. There we go. So we've got two options here. So we've got the Logan Square Auditorium, and we've got the RDS Gym. So this has fifty percent importance. So um hopefully that will be good and then this one's only got five percent so it's probably better for us to go with the logan square auditorium so we'll book that and then booking team um let's spend some creative energy should we try gimmick idea we'll try gimmick idea we don't have enough of that okay right how much have we got 47 we probably could do with getting some more people in the booking team I found out watching Curbs Curb Stump City that you can't it's 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 a bad thing to have more than say four people in the booking team, I think. So just bear be aware of that when you're playing this game. Uh character idea? Should we try character idea? Right, character idea, safe bet. There is no restrictions with this idea. Okay. Um who do we give this idea to? Should we go Joshua Bishop? Josh Bishop, I can't remember his name. Is it Jordan? No, it's Josh Bishop, isn't it? So we have it on there. We need to remember to do that character idea, though. Is that a gimmick? It's not a gimmick, though, is it? So, hmm. Okay, I need to find out how to... Right, stored creative ideas, Joshua Bishop. You can deploy a character idea from the roster screen. This adds depth to... Right, okay. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of that for now, and then... Yeah, because at the moment the booking team is is Cliff Compton and uh, Atisius Koga. So we could do with some more. Right, locker room incidents, uh, training is normal. Gringo Loco, training. Cheech was in fine form before the show, keeping everyone in a great mood. It's hilarious road stories. It created a relaxed and happy atmosphere. That's what we want to see. Ah, oh, here we go. Um, So the backstage rumour mill being in overdrive after Alice uh crowley and clayton Gaines apparently got into a heated argument so that's not good hot gossip in the locker room that atisius koga and at least crowley are seeing each other oh that's nice nice to see that some romance happening here uh heather reckless came to the backstage with an idea for enhancing a character has been automatically added to stored creative ideas so we've got one for josh bishop and the other one for um heather reckless okay so we'll just leave that blank right see you in a sec right so we start the show with uh heather reckless defeating uh i'm going to pronounce this wrong but navia um with a frog splash um i did deploy then i did it offline but i did deploy the um character idea for heather reckless and also for joshua bishop the joshua bishop one was a failure um but luckily for me the heather reckless one was successful so we've got a new storyline and it's it's between heather reckless and navia and it starts with Heather reckless winning and um, the segment got a 29 crowd was 20 31 for the wrestling um and now uh as you can tell Nev uh Nev nevia navia nevia i don't know how to pronounce her name anyway um she was the better one out of the two unfortunately for some annoyingly uh navia is meant to be the baby face but she's playing an arrogant heel gimmick but it is what it is um we'll just go along with it but yeah so um but yeah pretty good start of the show heather reckless was angry at the match upset that navia almost injured her with a botch move well that's not a good start to the storyline is it 
Um, the segment afterwards got a 21. Heather Reckless attacked Nevia after the match. And then the debuting tag team, The Killers, defeated the team of Euthanasia, which is um, Joshua, Pro uh, Prohibition, and M Dog 20. Um, Matt Cross, who also played um, Son of Havoc in Lucha Underground. So uh, the segment got a 26, 22 for the crowd rating, 30 for the wrestling. Uh, not too bad. Lord Crew and M Dog, sorry, Lord Crew and Mad Dog Conley actually did a lot better than the other two, which was surprising. Let's have a look here. Uh, Mad Dog Conley was really off his game. Mickey Knuckles was awful as referee, so I need to get rid of Mickey Knuckles as a referee. And then Lord Crew and Vita Von Star have absolutely zero chemistry together, so I need to make note of that. I'll probably forget by the time the show finishes. Uh, I think we're better off with. Out Vita Von Star is the manager, that's fine. Right, and then the Anvil afterwards got a 27. The Killers um, attacked Euthanasia. And then the main event was Lee Johnson defeating Joshua Bishop. When Joshua Bishop was disqualified, when Ace Perry ran in and attacked Lee Johnson. I uh I balls up there. I meant it meant it was meant to be, um, it was meant to be Jimmy Young. So I meant to do that to progress their storyline that I've put together. But oh well. All right, segment got a 17, 25 for the crowd, forty two for the wrestling. So at least the wrestling was good. Oh no, Lee Johnson has sustained a bruised pectoral muscle. That we're out. This is a disaster of a show. This is. Uh, Joshua Bishop has impressed me though. 45 for in ring performance, better than Lee Johnson. So the bout the, the bout dragged in the middle, lack of flow being noticeable, and obviously Mickey Knuckles is awful referee. The fans hated the ending to the match, obviously, because the I think the product that we're doing they don't particularly like disqualification finishes, but and I forgot to do the angle afterwards as well, which is annoying. So, oh, but it's fine. We've increased our popularity in one region. We only got 24 for this, so we need to do better next time. The best segment was the women's match between Heather Reckless and Nevia. Uh, Nevia. Um, yeah, the main event was very poor. 110 people turned up, though, so uh, not as good as we thought it would be. Then again, we have got cheap tickets. Now, um, so what I'm going to do is do Josh Prohibition... Um, we're just going to put on a good compliment on good performance. Matt Cross. No, Matt Cross. I went the wrong way there. Sorry, everyone. Matt Cross will do the same. So I learned from, I've learned from Curb Stomp City that you're meant to, you should praise the people that lose the matches because it helps with their morale. So that's good. Right, injury views. Um, I accidentally skipped it, so I apologise for that. Financial report. There we go. So ticket sales, we've got £440, which is actually really good. 58 for merchandise, workers cost us a thousand pounds, show cost 276, 75 for marketing. So overall minus 903, which ain't too bad, could have been a lot worse. Popularity, we've increased it to 11 from 10, which is really good to know. So after our second show, we've increased the popularity by one, so that's really good. So hopefully, me changing the tickets to very cheap will help us financially, but also won't halt us. When it comes to uh, popularity rise right let's have a look at the injuries side first where is medical on here it is somewhere again i'm not very good at finding these things where is it it's probably right in front of me and i'm being so no not merchandise uh it's got to be up here then isn't it medical 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 where the f have i just gone past it why am i being so here what the hell's going on where's medical right booking team brand split chemistry creative divisions roster product inner circle figurehead end of year stable storylines teams titles tournaments commentary oh yeah by the way i've got a uh, cliff compton sharp boy and simon dean as my commentary team from now on uh show history absences is it absences oh it's that's why because it used to be called medical so right um lee johnson can work through his injuries but i think we're just going to keep him to the old angle here and there for the next 25 days not to overdo it with him um but with that means we can continue to push jimmy young a bit 
Right, so we've got £2,648 available, dollars, sorry, available now. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. So I'll be back with the next show in a minute. Right, we're back. Um, so we forwarded it to the next show, um, SCW Jailbreak. Um, I let the AI automatically pick the pay-per-view names. A bit rubbish, but it is what it is. Um, so we've had a little bit of boost of the finances, so we'll just have a check of the financial side of things. Uh, this whole episode is going to be me trying to flip and find these things. The offline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally keep checking and try and remember where everything is. Right. So this is, we'll go through last month first because we ju just finished it. So we, we, at the end of it, we were left with 2,488 pounds. Sorry. We got 215 performance, 440 from ticket sales. Sponsorship was 1,690. Merchandise was 118. And then obviously it cost us 1,170 for booking the workers, 276 for show costs, 75 for marketing, 250 for merchandise and 250 for production and then tax as well so this month we've made 519 from performance i have no idea what performance is um let's have a does it say anything here the shows how much has gained lost over the course of the month okay still doesn't help me uh let me know in the comment section what performance actually means right and then we got 1444 from sponsors 50 pounds 50 dollars i keep forgetting it's dollars on this game $50 in merchandise. If I ever say pounds, just ignore me. Just know it's dollars I'm on about. Um, $100 costing for the workers. $750 for merchandise, which is a lot more than we're gaining. Um, I think it's high because I upped, it, I upped the merchandise. I, I, I upgraded the merchandise too quickly. And um, it's going to end up costing us money now. And then production was 125 dollars so that's that so far and obviously we've got our next show coming up so let's just have a look um i think oh there we go we've got some inbox items so lee johnson's fully fit now which is good heather reckless extends her deal with tna i think that won't affect us gringo loco unfortunately is out for a month can we do anything to help with that uh absences isn't it there we go absences no we can't that is a shame Right, he can still work angles, but he's only out for 11 days, so we'll be back for the next show, hopefully. So, let's crack on with the next show. Um, see how we get on. So, we only got 110 people last time. Um, so, I'm just going to stick with this Logan Square one for now. And then, booking team meeting. Have we got any storyline idea? We got enough for that? Yeah, we have. Right, a bit of a gamble. This can only be applied to a storyline where Nate Webb has a major role and has been involved in at least has been involved for at least thirty days. Uh, what does that mean? Right, I'm gonna. I don't know what that means because does it mean I've got to wait thirty days? I've got to put him in shows for the next thirty days. I don't know what that means. Right, locker room incidents. So, Atticius Koga got into a heated argument with a fan outside. We don't want that. Also, we're fine him. Uh, Bastard Cassidy has been getting ribbed a little because of how much he has started getting, being influenced by Flip Kendrick, even taking some of his mannerisms. Uh, women's trainer Sean Davari ran training drills for basics and safety for two students, Vita Von Starr and two East Lynn. Alice Crawley has came to you backstage with an idea for creative finish. It's been automatically added to your store of creative ideas. Okay, so we'll put her in a match. And then Alice uh, Crowley also brightened the backstage area simply by being so cheerful and fun to be around. That's good. And then Isaiah Bona and Cheech have helped create a fun and relaxed atmosphere backstage after somehow finding a karaoke machine and starting an impromptu pre-show competition. That's good as well. So, right, let's just inspire. And then I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, so this is our next show. Um, SCW Jailbreak 2024. Um, we've got 114 people in here. So we're slightly up from the last show. And we start the show with a decent match between uh, Alice Crawley, who defeated Mickey Knuckles by submission. Um, 24 for the segment. Crowd wasn't that into it with a 19. Wrestling wasn't too bad with a 32. Um 
Alice Crowley got a 29 for in ring. Mickey Knuckles with a 34. Obviously, Mickey Knuckles is a seasoned vet, so that is expected. Um, Alice Crowley de debuted her punk rock princess gimmick, so I assume she's going to be like similar to a, CM, a female CM Punk, maybe a bit like Sky Blue when she first came into the scene. So hopefully she'll be a star in the making. She's quite young. I think she's like in 20 or something, so we can probably hopefully push her as one of our superstars. The the belt dragged in the middle with lack of flow being noticeable. The Alice Crowley creative finish um, was a failure, unfortunately. Alice Crowley, uh, Crowley and Mickey Knuckles have great chemistry, though, so that's good. And then as the road agent, Reed Bentley probably could have done a better job. But the rest were greens. So um, Alice Crowley and Ray Lynn have a good pairing. Vita Von Starr did some good work as well. So that's good. And then the angle lateral's got a 31, which is pretty good for us when it comes to angles. Uh, and uh, yeah, the angle was basically Mickey Knuckles attacking Alice Crowley after the match. And the next match was uh, Cheech defeating Jimmy Young thanks to distraction from Lee Johnson. Um he got a 47 for the second, which is really good. 20 for the crowd, 43 for the wrestling, which is good for us as well. Jimmy Yang was slightly better with 44, but Cheech performed really well as well. So the storyline continues. But yeah, that's good. And then afterwards, um, Lee Johnson cut a promo on Jimmy Yang. Got a 28 for that. Um, probably better having Lee Johnson script his promos next time. And then in the main event, have a reckless defeat Ray Lynn with the frog splash. And then it got 26 for the segment, 20 for the crowd, and then 24 for the wrestling. Uh, have a reckless was the better work out the two of the 27. But yeah, they didn't they don't really click, so that's probably what it was as well. So we'll try not to put them two in a match again. And then the uh the segment to end the show was a uh have a reckless cutting a promo on Navia who was off screen at the time. So that's that advanced. We've increased our popularity in one region. We've got an overall rating of 31. And like I said before, we've got 114 people turn up. So that is slightly up from the last event. So that's good. Um, so we'll put Ray Lynn. We'll compliment her. And then who was the other loser now? Who lost the other match now? Oh yeah, Jimmy Young. There we go. Right, that's that. So there you go. Financial report. So we got $570 for ticket sales, which I think was better than the last one. 60 for merchandise, which I think is slightly better than the last. Workers cost is 780 Show cost is 278 75 for marketing. So overall, only a, only a loss of $500 this time. Last event, we lost 1000 I think. So don't quote me on that, but I think that's right. Popularity recap. Oh, my God. Our popularity has increased even more. This is really quick. This is, I wasn't expecting us to get to a 12. We, we literally have, the last two shows we've increased our popularity. We've also increased it in the Middle Atlantic um, and the tri state areas uh, on, a, on a Terrio. So that's really encouraging. I think obviously having very cheap tickets does work. Um, financially, it isn't good in the long run, but if it helps us get to, say, like 20 in popularity, we might be able to get a local TV deal. But, yeah, we've got 2,456. I think hopefully if we make a bit of money from the next uh, by the time next month comes along, it will even ourselves out, and then we'll just keep doing that for a while. Let's just have a look at creative before we forward it to the next show. So they reckon that... Simon Dean is our main event wrestler, um, so I might put him in a match next and see how it goes. Gringo Loco, for me, is probably one of our biggest stars because I'm just a big fan of his work. And then on the women's side, we've got uh, Navia, uh, Nevia, sorry. Um, and then we've got, rounding up, we've got Atisius Koga and Joshua Bishop. Next big things, we haven't got any. Um, hot prospects is Bastard Cassidy. Best people on the mic is Simon Dean, Sharp Boy, Atisius Koga, Josh Prohibition and Nick Dinsmore. I need to start utilising some of these like older wrestlers, I think, to be honest. We're only, we are quite limited how many wrestlers we can book per show. And I think, to be honest, the older wrestlers might be on uh, slightly more money than the rest. But yeah, I'm just going to see if there's any hidden gems we can sign. Right, so we've got Rinku Singh, uh, Baba Tunde. Maybe Baba Tunde might be a good one. He's a giant, isn't he? How much does he want, though? 
No, too much at the moment. We're not going to sign him. I will shortlist him, though, if I can. There we go. Uh, Willie Mack. No, Willie Mack wants too much money, but we will shortlist him. Uh, Slice Boogie. Never heard of him. He only wants £40. Pounds. $40, sorry. Where is he from? He's from New York. So it will cost us a bit. So we'll just leave it for now. Frontman Ja. Where is he from? Does it say? Popularity probably will be an indicator here. So he's from the... Is he from Great Lakes? He's, from, he's quite popular in Great Lakes. Uh, Great Lakes. We'll bring him in. I don't know if he's from... Ah, oh, there we go. Great Lakes. He is from Great Lakes. He might be... Uh, a prospect, a good prospect. How old is he though? He's probably quite old. I can't say prospect. He's probably like 40 years old. Right, not covered as well, so that's good. How old is he? 31. No, he's not too old. Uh, let's have a look at Slice Boogie again. Where's he from? No, he's from Southwest, so yeah, we'll leave that for now. Right, I will forward it to the next show and I'll be back in a second. Right, we're back. Uh, we've got our next show, Lost Calls, coming up in a minute, but we did have an inbox item. I have deleted it to say end of year awards. So we will click on it. I had it a second ago. Where the hell was it? it was, there we go. End of year awards. I am sorry about this. My uh, navigational skills are not very good. So the match of the year for 2024 was Cheech defeating Jimmy Young. Got a 47 rating. Card of the year was uh, SCW... Apocalypse got 36 rating. I think that's it. That's only two awards we've got. So there you go. But uh, just thought I'd show you that. We have got a new member of the roster. If you when I um before I forwarded it to the next show, I did sign somebody. And where is he? He's here somewhere. Where's he gone? Again, my uh. Well, he's male, so let's make it easier. Male wrestler. Right. Where is it? There he is. That's it. Front Manja. Front Manje. Um, Front Manje is a June 2016 graduate of the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy, which is Seth Rollins and Mal uh, Merrick Braves training um, school, wrestling training school. And he works exclusive in USA. He's five foot eight, two hundred nine pounds. Um, class is used in a regular style. He currently works for SCW. In the past, he's also worked for GCW, AAW, and IWA Mid South. And he is um from the Great Lakes, Great Lakes area. So that's good. Let's see if he comes up as a hot prospect now. Or next big thing. No. Ah, but he's good on the mic. So that is good to know. Right then, let's crack on with the next show. Maybe we'll give him a promo, see how good he is on the mic. We're going to go with the same one as last time, so we'll go select the venue. Let's have a look. We've got store creative ideas, Nate Webb. So I need to do a storyline with Nate Webb. What we'll do is we'll go character idea. Um... Right, this can only be applied to Alice Crowley, okay? Crawley, Crowley, whatever you want to call it. Call her, sorry, not it. That sounded derogatory towards women. I meant her, I apologise. Right, how much have we got left? We've got 18 points, so we'll leave that for now. Locker room instance, training, training. That, that The second one wasn't training, but oh well. Right, nothing I can do about it now. So... Right, that's that done. And then you'll know the score. I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, we're back for the penultimate show of the episode. So this show and then there'll be one more show after that. And that'll be that. Um, we've got we've got 118 people turn up. So we've got four more from the last show, which is good. Um, seven got 38. Crowd was not happy about this. 17. Wrestling rating was 35. I completely forgot. I didn't tell you about who was in the match. Sorry, let's start again. So, frontman Ja defeated Simon Dean. Um, second got 38. Crowd, 17. 35 for the wrestling. Frontman Ja 
got a 34 rating, Simon Dean with a 36. Um, I let the AI decide who wins this one, and they decided to pick Front Manja. I hope I'm saying his name right. Let me know in the comment section if I'm not saying it right. So um, the segment, the promo war between these two got a 46 rating, so this might lead to a storyline, I reckon. Um, both did a really good job on the promo, which is really good. So that's impressive. And then Alice Crowley um, defeated Vita Von Starr by submission. Got 24 for the segment, 20 for the crowd, and 29 for the wrestling. Alice Crowley was the better of the two. Um, the match dragged a little in the middle with the lack of flow being noticeable. Cliff Compton should have done a better job as road agent. And then Ray Lynn did a good um, work ringside. So that's good. And then we did an uh, angle afterwards with Vita Von Starr getting some heat back by attacking Alice Crowley afterwards. Got a 27 for that. And then randomly I decided to put Sharp Boy in a match against Nick Dinsmore. Nick Dinsmore won, uh, won with the Sharpshooter. Seven got a 34. Crowd was not interested at all. Got a 13. Wrestling got a 29. Nick Dinsmore did pretty well with a 37. Sharp Boy not so much. Um, Sharp Boy and Ray Lynn are a poor combination so I need to get rid of her as his manager. And then the main event, Heather Reckless defeated Tootie Lynn by submission with the Car Crusher. Got a 25 for the segment. Crowd was not interested with it. Got an 18. Wrestling wasn't too bad though with a 30. Have a reckless with an in-ring performance of 31, which is not too bad. Tootie Lynn was all right as well with 28. Um, they don't seem to click, so maybe we need to not put them in a match next time. Overall, we've increased our popularity again with the one. Increased it in one region. 33 rating overall. The best segment was the promo war between frontman ja um and simon dean the best match of the night was the opening match between frontman ja and simon dean as well uh, like i said we've got 118 people turned up so we're doing well every time let's address the locker room so we need to um simon dean we need to praise and then we need to praise sharp boy i think both were losers in the match so it helps with their morale Right, financial report. Ticket sales five hundred and ninety dollars, sixty two for merchandise, six hundred and twenty for the workers, two hundred and ninety four for the show cost, and seventy five for marketing. So we're doing well. So this is the best financially we've done for a show. We're only minus three hundred and thirty seven, which is really good. And I think we would have done better financially if we didn't book as many matches. I think we booked four matches in that show instead of three. Oh, what's happened there? I've just double clicked on it by accident. Oh, I don't know if we've increased our popularity. I'll check in a sec. My very dodgy mouse. Um, we'll have a look. Wait for this to finish. Do, 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 do. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Right, there we go. Right, let's have a look. Popularity, where the hell are we? Do, 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 do. Product, commentary broadcasting coverage is it coverage no not coverage where is it 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 uh size no we're 13 so we didn't increase so we did not increase right let's have a look at this actually size so we need to start out this as smallest size possible and achieve simply by being active laying the foundation achieve 17 popularity in your home region of great lakes so we've just got to get four more in Great Lakes to get to 17. I think we can do that over the next couple of months. We've got 2,488 pounds. We only lost eight, sorry, dollars, sorry. We only lost eight dollars. So that's really good. Right, so what I'm going to do, oh, let's check the inboxes first. Uh, Giselle Shaw, who's on my shortlist, I had a body change, nothing significant. Um, right then, let's, I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Hello, I was going to come back in a second, but we've had this come up and I'm really not happy right now. So Cheech was caught in possession of soft drugs last night. Um, I decided to fine him and the media have picked up on this story about Cheech and SCW have been referenced extensively. The company has taken a big hit in prestige. So that is a big dent to the uh, popularity, I think. Um, but where is it say prestige again? 
it doesn't on here for some reason. It used it used to on T on TW twenty twenty. But anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the show. I just thought I'd show you this before I carried on. Hold on, let's have a look at if there's any inbox items. Yeah, so Cheech caught him. Oh, we've got an announcement. Scott Damore and Giselle Shaw announced they are now engaged, so congratulations to them. We've upgraded the merchandise to small time level. Um and then Colt Cabana leaves AW. Oh, this could be interesting. Right. Hmm, three hundred. Hmm. Do you know what? I'll make an exception for him. Because we might actually get to use him properly. Um I need to apply template. I forgot to do that. Right. So due to my decline, that's fine. We'll just do that. Oh, imagine if we sign Colt Cabana. John Cena divorces his wife. Julie Hart extends her deal with AEW. Right, I'll be back in a second with the next show. At least something newsworthy has come up out of it. Right, so here's the last show of the episode. I accidentally forgot to record um, the pre-show stuff, but you didn't really miss anything significant. So, But here we are. First match of the show is JT Dunn. Defeating Nate Webb with the death by elbow segment got a 34. The crowd wasn't that into it. Wrestling wasn't too bad with a 32. Um, JT Dunn was really off his game. Nate Webb was rusty as well. So maybe in time they might be able to get a better match. But it started the, the show strong. Crowd got hotter during the match. So that's good. And then the, the angle afterwards. Um, Nate Webb attacked um, JT Dunn after the match. Got a 34. So that's good. And then we had Frontman Ja defeating Flip Kendrick. Got a 34 for the segment. Again, the crowd wasn't that into it. Got an 18. Wrestling rating was 34. And then um, Best Worker was Frontman Ja out of the two. Both wrestlers were off their game, which is not helpful at all. The road agent, um, Reed Bentley, he could have done a better job as well. And then Frontman Ja Cut a promo afterwards on Flip Kendrick. Got a 30 rating. Oh, pardon me. Um, so that's that. And then the um, Naver defeated Mickey Knuckles. Um, that This is the main event. And it got a... Um, with a double shot, sorry. The segment got a 40. 23 for the crowd. So the crowd was probably... the This was probably the hottest the crowd's been for a match or, or show. Ring... Sorry, wrestling rating got 39. And then in ring, best ring worker was Navia. But Mickey Knuckles did well as well. So that's good. And then the, the segment to end the show was Heather Reckless coming into the ring to attack Navia after the match to progress the storyline. So the popularity increase in one region. We got a 34 overall rating and 120 people turned up. So that's our biggest crowd yet, I think. So that's really good. Best segment was the wrestling match between Navi and Mickey Knuckles with a 40. Uh, let's address the locker room. So we'll go Mickey Knuckles. And then we'll go... Um, who did Frontman... Oh, we'll just go Flip Kendrick as well. There we go. Right. So financial report. We got 600 in ticket sales, 127 in merchandise. Workers cost us 960 276 for um, show costs, 75 for marketing, and then overall loss was minus 584. We still got a decent balance. Our balance is going up slightly each each month, which is really good. Right, I just need to click this once. There we go. 14, get in. Right, so we've increased our popularity again. We are increasing our popularity very quickly, which is great to see. We seem to be very consistent now, which is really good. That's what I like to see. We're not far away now from increasing our size to tiny. And then hopefully we can increase it to small. And then if we can get to small, let's just check on the off chance we can actually get a, uh, a TV deal. I don't think we will. No. So that's that. But yeah, not too bad to end this episode. Um, in fact, I'm going to forward it a couple of days before I end it. And we'll just look at the finances. So I'll be back in a second. Right, so we'll end the episode just looking at the financial side of things. So, um, like, so let's have a look at this month just gone, February. We end the month with 3,723. So if you notice, we are slightly getting more now. 
we went up by a thousand pounds so performance was a thousand pounds which is a lot more than what we were getting before ticket sales was 600 which is slightly more than before um sponsors has gone up as well a bit so that's good merchandise has gone up as well so it's all positives on here um and then you know we've got our minuses here we've got our expenses mostly workers but over uh, tax as well so we're doing we're doing all right we're doing well i'm uh quite happy with how everything is going let's just quickly look at this yeah so now colt cabana is our biggest star after his match uh gringo loku is second so I think what I might do is, what I want to do first is probably give a few day views to a few people here and then try and um, figure out who our best workers are, uh, best people on the mic, biggest superstars in the making. So next episode, what I'll do, for instance, if we click on the roster, I'll just go on attributes and we'll look at things like this. So Ace Perry at the moment is, is I mean, I'm not, I've not got baby faces or heels. So it doesn't really make any difference. You can't play a badass, can't be dominant, dino, lively, um, can do comedy matches, plays comedy well, risk taker. So we can look at things like that um, next episode and we might be able to see a few things that we haven't seen before and we might help us figure out who we can push properly. But yeah, doing really well. Let's just check. Do we need to, do we need to upgrade? I don't think we do. We've got level three. I think anything after level three it costs you more so we're going to leave it until our finances are a bit higher but yeah not too bad a very good episode i hope you enjoy this as much as the last one i know when people watch a first episode of a new series it's more about intrigue um and then obviously i'm not expecting as many views as for this episode but i would like you some of you to stick with it and the ones that do i really appreciate it. i think I can make this an enjoyable series for you lot to watch. Um, and that's that, really. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll be back next Monday with another episode. All the best. Bye.